hello entertainment daily lovers welcome welcome back so let's get right into this quick happenings okay hmm shocking revelation if you've been following the late singer mobard's case for a while now you know that that is a story that keeps given okay from mobard being buried immediately after he was um immediately after he died and the, the exhumation and everything else that uh happened uh to yabo joe nollywood actress and tonto dk nollywood actress taking over the case so now the recent happenings is what we are here to discuss welcome if you're just coming across entertainment daily for the first time subscribe turn on your notification so you don't miss any hot gist and trending topics okay so very dark man came out and said he's going to out Iyabo Ujo for something and he made a shocking revelation where he said that he did his own diggings and in his findings he got to find out that Iyabo Ujo is logged into late Mobad's account and he's asking the question why so if you've not been following the story let me give you a quick backstory so words on the street is that late Mobad's wife knows more than what she's saying concerning the untimely death of her husband that has been uh, you know the accusations that have been flying on social media so now with this revelation she you know has not released any statement but very dark man is stating that Iyabo Joe is preventing justice and not only very dark man has stated that another journalist I think Kemi Olunloyo she's called also is insinuating that Yabo Ojo, the Nollywood actress, is also, you know, trying to do a cover-up here. Well, Yabo Ojo is yet to say anything. But someone that decided to speak out is uh, Osai Ovie Success. And he's, uh, so he holds a position in Delta State uh, concerning social media and stuff like that. And Osai is very vocal if you, if you see his Facebook page. So this is what Osai had to say concerning the recent happening. He said, the very dark man's decision to post alleged evidence against Iyabo Ojo on social media regarding Mobad's death was irresponsible, potentially harmful and disappointing. If genuinely believe, okay, I think he said, he said, if he genuinely believes he has evidence, he should have filed a petition with the police, allowing them to conduct a thorough investigation and invite Iyabo Ojo for questioning. By taking to social media, he has not only compromised the integrity of any potential evidence, but also put Iyabo Ojo's life and family in danger. I strongly urge Iyabo Ojo to take legal action against the very dark man for defamation and harassment. Additionally, I call on the police authority to invite the very dark man for questioning as his actions has contravened the law. Evidence should be submitted to the relevant authorities, not shared on social media, to ensure a fair and secure process. Furthermore, the incident highlights the danger of trial by social media where individuals presume guilty without due process. It is essential to respect the legal system and allow investigations to unfold without undue influence or sensationalism. Osai of his success. So this is what he had to say concerning this happening. Now, there's been a whole lot from uh, the very dark man insinuating that Tonto DK is the one responsible for the blog called uh, uh, Eurogist Lovers and that their findings, after he did the findings and they posted the findings, that it was Tonto DK, the Nollywood actress, turned politician, that is responsible for Gist Lover. They went and deleted the account and said the account was hacked or reported or whatnot. But he is, in, he is stating categorically on his page that that's not what happened, that they deliberately deleted that. But in the case of Iyabo Joe, he's the computer wizard or the hacker wh whomever he used to do this job the person said that Yabo Ojo did a very lousy job because it is actually one device that is logged into mobile's late wife account so in other words it is Yabo Ojo allegedly all of this is being alleged by the very dark man and he posted some stuff that he says is evidence and in that video the very dark man also said that he is willing to work with the police and whatever question or whatever they want him to turn on evidence, you know, uh, he is going to do so. But my question here is, 
I don't understand why the very dark man came out and posted this online. Could it be that because he does not trust the Nigerian police, that's why he decided to post this thing online? Because Osai is also saying, why did you not go and hand over this to the police? Well, we know that with people that have influence, it is easy for things to be manipulated when the case, uh, when a case like this comes up. So could that be the reason why the very dark man chose not to go and turn evidences over? Now, this Osai Ovid, I just read to you his own input, which he posted to his Facebook account. Osai Ovid's success is the senior special assistant on media to the Delta State governor. Okay, so Osai Ovid speaks a lot about different things that are happening in Nigeria. If he feels he should chime in on what is happening, he does so. And he's always coming out to say his mind. He doesn't care what anybody say thinks. That, okay. So now, I, wanna, I want you to, if you're watching this and you've been following the story of Mobad, drop a comment below and let me know what you think about what the very dark black man posted on his social media and do you also think that he's going to follow through by if he's been invited and do you think iyabo ojo because up until this moment before i came here to do this video i have checked iyabo ojo's page i have not seen any official statement from iyabo ojo as at this moment you know a lot is going on with iyabo ojo's uh, daughter iyabo ojo's daughter has been celebrated so i think iyabo is focusing more on that she also posted someone else that put to bed i don't know if that's her son's wife so that's i think that's where iyabo ojo is focusing on right now now also the late mobad's wife his uh the sister of late mobad's wife came out and called her out and said a whole lot of things uh, but Mobad's wife is yet to come out to debunk anything or to say anything. I believe the people that are advising her must have advised her to not say anything. Or I believe at this point, she must have had an attorney that is advising her. This is just my speculation. Because also, earlier on when the husband died, the very dark man was also the first person that came out and raised DNA uh, conversation concerning late Mobad's little son, right? So from that moment, I believe that the lady Wumi should have gotten an attorney, knowing fully well the eyes are on her. Now, another thing that we heard on social media was Mobad's mother crying out, stating that uh, Wumi, Mobad's wife, has taken everything. Then we saw a video that popped out where they showed Mobad's mansion in Lagos uh, State, and you could see it completely empty. There is nothing in his home, okay? Everything has been taken out. No furniture, no nothing, nothing. Like, just empty, empty, empty. Uh, so, we don't know how this whole thing is going. It seemed like the family of Mobad's and Mobad's wife are not in good terms, and now we're seeing Mobad's wife's sister is also coming out and calling her out. And now, Very Dark Man is coming with this uh you know allegations stating that iyabo ojo is preventing you know justice that people should not and now mind you this is kind of shocking because iyabo ojo and tonto dk at some point were at the forefront of mobad's case you know this justice for mobad justice for mobad they pushed through they made it ex exhumed uh, uh to make sure he was exhumed they took it for uh, autopsy uh you know they showed the video where they went to a hospital because he was buried in just a box where it was too small for him they had to even bend his neck into the box like it, he was buried like a chicken that's how we say it in africa so they went to uh you know to a casket shop they were looking at nice casket that they can purchase for mobile so he gets a proper burial so to hear that yabo joe allegedly is preventing uh, justice let me know what you think thank you so very much for watching entertainment daily subscribe turn on notifications see you on the next gist